this is uh, John Reed, JDOD.com, actually in San Francisco now with our SAP Startup Series. I've got Stephen Clark Martin, uh, founder, CEO, brainchild behind 41 Ads. How's it going? Pretty good, John. So you have a background in advertising, and you were talking uh, before we started shooting about how much is changing, or, or shall we say maybe hasn't changed for the better in terms of I see ads all the time that just have nothing to do with my needs. Maybe it's for stuff that isn't even near me. H how are you trying to solve that? So we're trying to solve that in a couple of different ways. Our theme is that ads should be relevant to the person. They should be relevant to the context. So we look at closed caption and metadata to find the right ad that's related to the content that you're watching so that we don't have to really pry into your cookies or anything like that. We're looking at the themes from a show. So if you're watching a show and they're talking about going on vacations, we can find opportunities around vacations for you. We need to take the little bits of information that we know about the viewer, what uh, shows they're watching, their location, and some other information, and we need to synthesize that data and produce guesstimates about who they might be, their age, their socioeconomic background, um, you know, what kinds of interests they may have, and use that information to filter the ads that we deliver to them. And how do you think HANA could fit into this picture for you in terms of a go-to-market product? So HANA's in-memory system allows for low latency responses. So we're going to be ingesting lots of information about the viewers, uh, their viewing history, their locations, and they, that may alter from person to person. That might alter from, you know, they may be doing something on their iPad or, or their uh, Android phone. And we're going to have a lot of incoming data, and we need that data to be processed and give us uh, attributes fairly quickly. So we're hoping that we can build that out on HANA and use that information to in inform our ad targeting system very quickly. So bef once we have the request for an ad, we need to process the information that we may have about that user, update it with the most current state, and then filter the ad responses and bring that back to the player uh, on their mobile phone, on their Xbox, or on their uh, set-top box. Mm. So you have a boot camp, HANA boot camp coming up. Yep. So what are you expecting and hoping to get out of that? So as part of that process, we hope to show HANA that you know we have a strong interest in building with their technology. We're hoping that uh, uh, SAP can help us do that by giving us access to their experts. And you know along the process, you know being part of that accelerator so that we can take our ideas with HANA and bring it to market quickly. One of the reasons we think that it would be a good fit is that you know, advertising is a huge opportunity. It really is. And for us, uh, leveraging the resources that are on the SAP platform, the professional resources, is really important. We'll, we'll be able to say, well, this is what we can build with SAP HANA, and this is where we can bring on the experts to help us bring it to market quickly without taking the risk of trying to, you know, recreate the wheel on Mongo. Mm -hmm. So I I as an alternative to Mongo, you're hoping that SAP could potentially also fill some gaps for you in terms of development resources. Absolutely. I think you were talking about even tapping into the community at large. Absolutely. You're hoping to do that? Absolutely. So, you know, we, you know, Mongo's great and we're using it for some things, but where we need um, business uh, quality. Go ahead and say <laughs> business. <laughs> so Mongo doing business on Mongo. Yes. Yeah, so, so right? yeah, 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 absolutely. So, yeah. you know, we're an advertising company and when we get into real time bidding for our advertisers, we need to make sure that those transactions happen securely, consistently. We need to not take any risks there. And if we were to do that on Mongo, it's something that we would have to, we'd have to bring our, uh, most of our resources to bear on making sure that that worked. Whereas with SAP, it's something that you guys already do. So um, we want to really leverage that experience.